Scroll saw, check. Dust extraction, eh, it'll do. Fingers, check, for now. What's up guys, welcome to Anchor Designs. My name's James and upon the recent restoration of the uh, 24 inch beaver scroll saw we're going to kick off with a, a nice easy little project just to get you started on scroll sawing and um, what I've done is I've printed out some of these shapes these are for a, a very special young uh, young young people uh, within my life so um, they're just nice little decorations that uh, that you can give to them and it, and it costs you know pennies to pennies to get so we've got uh we've got a boy one and we've got a girl one um we've got a cowboy theme and we've got a uh, princess one it's not my usual project but uh there we are so let's get started and uh and follow along to see how we do it and uh and how we can improve cheers guys so what i've done is i don't have a print stick so i got a rattle can out just some spray paint and got paint on my fingers oh god so I've now got the template, so I'm going to use the skill saw, go down the, go down the top there, and uh, then start cutting these shapes out. Works out pretty well. Not the best, but I've got the idea. Going to use a little sharpie just to um, clear up the lines on there. If I use the spray paint properly and I, you know, try to stick them down temporarily. Uh, maybe some spray adhesive or a print stick that no, I still haven't uh, still haven't purchased one. <laughs> um, it would have gone a lot better, but never mind. It worked. It was okay. I used a sharpie. I'm using a wet and dry vacuum cleaner from uh, Wix, and it is the loudest thing I own, I, apart from the bottle router that I've got. Um, so I've had to do quite a lot of voiceover work on this uh, on this video, but um, the scroll saw itself is a pleasure to use. It really is a pleasure to use. There's no vibration. You can't get any vibration through your hands, and it's not rattly like my Delta scroll saw is. Uh, but the noise that I have to use with the dust extraction uh, makes it very very loud. So uh, I've had to take out some of the some of the audio on this video. Okay guys, we've cut out the um, parts that we wanted to cut out. Now we just want to fettle things and make them nice round. Um, and if they're not, then we're going to call it rustic. Uh, what we've got is a multitude of different sanding options. Let me just pull the chair up here. So I, I've always used Merca stuff. Merca products are really, really good. Um, I use these Abrinets and they are like sandpaper, but they are... Um, made of like a mesh and then the abrasive is uh, is stuck to it and if you are doing intricate sanding stuff or woodworking what I found is um, body shop guys and you can buy these body shop uh, kits I don't know who makes these uh, sandies and you can put in your paper on the top and hold it and you get different lengths and sizes so this would be for like a body wing or a quarter or something and then with this I don't think I'll be using these today but you can get different contours and profiles so you can get a concave convex um, and they fit they're really good or i've bought this years ago it might come in handy it's got a radius a flat and a corner on there but i'm going to use these I, I, I try not to throw these away so these have been used on, on my boat and you know there's bits that are still abrasive uh, but it takes a little bit of time get comfy put a podcast on um, and yeah, just go for it really. I'm, I'm also going to be using something round, so like a, a 3 8 extension bar to get into awkward places or a bit of 15mm uh, plumbing fitting or something like that, just to make it easy for you. So just a little bit of a tip. The next section here is just a little bit of a montage of me uh, sanding down and uh, and fettling edges that, uh, that we needed to. The scroll saw itself um, is as I say an absolute pleasure to use and I think in part two or three of the restoration of the uh, of the machine itself in case you watch those um, it was a bit of a concern of where I was going to find the blades from and 
completely by chance that I bought a hand uh, coping saw for another project that I bought and I thought I wonder if these would fit and they're six and a half inches is a standard coping saw blade and they work fantastically in the um, in the scroll saw itself um, so I was really really pleased to, to get those to fit and uh, it, it did work really really well so a bit of a tip there if you have got one of these use coping saw blades and here I am just waiting for the paint to dry. I've used some aerosol uh, aerosol cans to try and speed up the process. Okay guys, on to the next step. So we have primed all of our shapes out. Now we're going to paint them and I've just used automotive primer from a rattle can. It's not great um, and a lot of people are going to sort of wonder why I didn't use a... Uh, like pine or something. When you make something like this out of pine and you have the grain going either that way or that way, this would be really delicate. Whereas this is it's got a certain amount of rigidity. Um so on to the next points. So what we've got <laughs> let's go through our our, uh, our colour choices that we went for. So we've got the hat and uh we're gonna go for the lovely spiced honey. Mm. This one is jasmine to remember pink for i think the dress as well maybe what did i buy here i've got what have i got here chuck chuck here chuck here for our star and our wand i've got westminster i always thought it was red when, when i was in b q it was red i'm sure it was and it's 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 definitely changed color uh but this is more like a weird it reminded me of plasticine, all that Play-Doh stuff he used to put through the train and it would come out of his face. <laughs> and I've got uh, Long Island for the uh, for the shoe. So uh, I'm going to paint all these. I've got some cheap paintbrushes that I will try and save um, after. We've got from the lovely people at the brilliant place that is being q <coughs> Uh, we have these little uh, hooks that we're going to put on and try and do it staggered and then to join those we have this um, garden twine so it's like that rustic stuff and in between those we're getting all fancy and i've got these um, unpleasurable sized beads uh, <laughs> that are going to go in between and they're going to hang down um, and uh, yeah, nice little project. Uh, first one for the scroll saw, so we've got a lot of these curves, we've sanded everything down. And uh, yeah, on to the next one, so montage time. Just a bit of a disclaimer here, this isn't my usual sort of project, so it's not, it's not to a great sort of standard, but you get the idea, so you can, you know, adapt it and, and see how you can improve it your good selves. Um, and this isn't for a hang above a cot type, um, you know, project because we're using these small, small beads and choking hazards, etc., etc. So this is something you're going to put in the corner of the room. It looks pretty. It, it, you know, it looks nice. It's something homemade. It's something lovingly crafted uh, by a craftsperson. So uh, it's it's not a. I don't know the proper name for it, a hang above the, the cot type situation so just a disclaimer there the beads that i'm using uh were just cheap beads that i bought off off ebay they're a couple of quid for a hundred of them etc and uh i don't know how beads are made but you have to use a two mil drill to uh, just take out the centers there so um just to keep those nice and clean and uh and use the pliers as we're painting what i would say is the paint i did use i massively skimped out on so these are uh, tester paint pot samples that you buy from uh b and q home base etc and my typical woodworking that i do or metalwork etc i very rarely paint the finished product especially if it's on wood so the paint i used took about 24 hours to actually dry i don't know whether it was the primer that i put on the um, the aerosol primer i don't know i don't know if it's because it's mdf or plain and simple the paint i use is just pants uh, so i use a mixture of fence paint and and uh like emulsion not emulsion but uh water-based paint so not particularly very very good here um but it, just just a heads up 
ideally chalk paint, but I wanted that matte looking, you know, crafty finish. Just use a lighter and a, uh, a glue stick uh, to hold certain beads at the right place. Uh, the cowboy one, I went a bit mad on the beads, and the uh, princess one, um, I wanted the it, it to not be as clogged up as that, so um, it still looks okay, it looks nice, um, and you know, they look great. And I think that's it, guys. The the hanging down, they look great. I'm going to be giving them to the uh, to the the families of the people that I that I know. And uh, I've sent them some photos. The chuffed a bit. So that's going to be a wrap. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe, give us a comment, see what your thoughts were, and uh, and let me know how I could have improved it for the next time. Thanks, guys. See you soon.